If you're born again and you want to check out the summary of everything that is in the heart of Christ, as far as this church is concerned, the community together, everything is found in summary in Ephesians chapter 4. Because when we are saying every believer is a minister, I want to prove this to you again, that you are a servant of God. You are a representative of Jehovah. You are a priest unto the Lord. Your voice is relevant. Your contribution is accepted. Without you, the word is not completed. Without you, the church is not completed. Oh, why is there no expansion? It's because we're waiting for you. Where's no increase? Because we're waiting for you. We need you to know that without your gift on the table, every one of us is going away. Say, so yet grace, verse 7, was given to how many of us? Each one of us in proportion to the measure of Christ. So how many people has grace? Each one of us. Verse 11 now said, and he himself appointed what? Some. Now the verse you just read, what did he do? It was each one of us. To let you know that in the body of Christ, in the church community, there's always the whole dimension and there's always the some dimension. The all dimension become is for every one of us, but the some dimension, it is the Prerogative right of God to make that selection. Every believer is either you are part of the sum or you are part of the all. But all of us must be doing something. If grace is given to you and it's no use, it's a disgrace to divine resources. It's just like you have having capital for business and you did not start the business. So the question now is that who is in ministry? But today, who do you think is in ministry when you come to church? Because you think I'm the one in ministry. This is the reason the church is not growing globally. Because the people that are supposed to be doing the ministry are consumers. The people that are not supposed to be doing ministry are the ones doing ministry. God did not call the some to do ministry. He called them to teach all to do ministry. This word service or ministry here, from the Greek word, it simply means in today's term to be a deacon. A deacon is somebody that has an opportunity to dirty their hands in the work of Christ.